This video is sponsored by Squarespace. I'm hoping after today, I have somewhat of a glow up. I feel like it could either go really awesome or really bad, but I asked Arthur what kind of hairstyle he sees me with. He immediately went to jellyfish, something that Hinata from Naruto has, and I was like, eh, nah, I don't really see it. And so then I went to Instagram and I asked you guys what kind of haircut you see me with. Someone said jellyfish. And I was like, okay, that's two for jellyfish, but I still wasn't fully convinced. Also, I got some new shears or scissors. So I was gonna use these, but they're so crappy. I swear, I don't even think they cut paper. But anyways, back to my story. Then I was in little Tokyo and I was inside of a stationery shop just looking for a calendar. And then I bump into this girl. And my first reaction was just like, oh my gosh, she is so freaking cool she had a jellyfish haircut and i was just like okay now i am totally sold and then later in the day we were just eating some ramen she passed by the shop and so this is kind of creepy but i took a photo of her hair as she was walking away so here's that photo i took i feel like she's so far away you can't even really tell what her hair looks like in the photo but one of my friends did send me this instagram account and i was totally influenced it's just full of a whole bunch of cool hairstyles haircuts and colors and the picture that just like absolutely wowed me is this one here it's a jellyfish haircut it's pretty short at the top and then she has these raccoon tails i don't want to do the raccoon tails i feel like that was back in like 2010 when all the girls wanted to be scene queens so i'm kind of over that but i am feeling the red and black so i think i want to do chunky red highlights this is what my hair is looking like now i feel like it's so safe and boring. This is just a grown out Hime haircut. I also have a ton of layers because TikTok got the best of me and I tried to give myself a wolf cut. It just didn't end up working out because I think my hair was too long, but I am ready to get rid of these ends because right now I feel like I'm giving Samara the grudge and it ain't cute. But for the length, I think I wanna take off like this much because if I show you up close, my ends are dead. Because the bottom layer is so long, I think all of this is what we're gonna be bobby. Ah, let me come closer. Snip it. Hopefully I'm doing this even, Jesus. <laughs> it's cut! I like that length, I think that's really good. I also love how blunt it is. I am getting a little creeped out by this, so let's put her down. Ah! You know, for these being new, it's still hard to cut. Oh my gosh, why is that like kind of even? Okay, maybe I cut this one a little too high. And I'm looking at the image and her first layer is short. So I think I've learned my lesson before. We're gonna start off pretty long. So this was my Hime cut right here and it's grown out quite a bit. So maybe we'll just follow that. Oh shoot. You know what, let's just chop it. Oops, this one. It's giving Haku. Ah, why am I giving Willy Wonka? This is looking so bad. Okay, if worse comes to worse, I'll just end up with a bob. That was like the last hairstyle I wanted, but let's just go with it. Let's match the other side. No hesitation. Wait, because why do I actually like this? My hair feels so light. It used to be so heavy and would like make my head kind of sore, but this feels nice. Y'all feel like you're witnessing an existential crisis because <laughs> it kind of feels like it, but I promise you, I'm fine. I think I went too short. But I feel like the only thing we could do now is just make sure that it's even. And unfortunately, I still have all this length, but let's match it. Let's take out my other hair and see how it's looking. Okay, it is like significantly shorter than what I had before, but you know what? I don't hate it. I also didn't use conditioner today. Oh, I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. 
Sorry, y'all, that was a tad dramatic. I did end up nicking myself twice. So trigger warning, if you don't like blood, wounds, or like little scratches, maybe just skip over a few seconds. But how in the world did I do this? But back to the hair, I am actually loving this. I think it's so different, and I just love how light my hair feels now. So let's work on these bangs. So just recently, I gave myself baby bangs, but they grow back so fast. I think for sure we can go like a lot, lot shorter. Oh. That is so uneven. But maybe we'll just add some, oops, some choppiness. Eh. So this is what my hair looks like at the end of day one. I will meet up with you guys tomorrow so we can dye it, but I'm actually really happy with it. So let's see what I think tomorrow morning. But like, I do want to show you how much hair I cut off because I had a lot. Look at all of this hair that I cut off. I'm literally so happy that I don't have to carry that around with me anymore, but I'll meet up with you guys tomorrow. All right, y'all, game plan for today is some chunky red highlights at the top. So the little tails that we have going on here, I think I just want one long stripe. Oh, and then a little stripe through my bangs. I've only ever dyed my hair twice, so I kind of don't know what I'm doing. But I mean, I feel like so far I haven't royally screwed up. But when it comes to styling, I feel like it looks best in little pigtails. Also, I could finally play around with hair accessories. So this weekend, I want to go to Santee Alley and just buy a whole bunch of clips, barrettes. It's going to be so cute. I feel like the first piece should be my bangs. I've done my bangs before, so I feel like it should be pretty easy. All the hairdressers and cosmetologists are probably screaming at the screen right now. I know guys, I know I suck at this. You know what, even if I don't get like the root, I'm totally okay with that. I can't expect this to be perfect. might be okay Ooh, nice i think it's not totally even actually so maybe we'll go no that actually looks pretty good right oh yeah that looks pretty good and i feel like once the red's on it you won't even be able to tell let's check this bottom one. Ooh. oh yeah that looks pretty good i feel like it could have been in there just a little bit longer And it's a little patchy there but it's okay i wasn't expecting it to be perfect but now the question is do i do my eyebrows i kind of like my dark brows with it but i feel like once the red is on there i'll be able to make more of a decision so let's just focus on these stripes oh yeah that looks pretty good oh no not it's sticking to this no look it still looks like it has little black parts or is it just because it's bunched up together Oh my gosh, I don't know, but these fumes are strong. Okay, let's just wash this out. It is looking so cute. I'm kind of low-key feeling this like orangey blonde, but it does feel a little rough and like straw-like. So I definitely damaged it, but while I have it here, let's talk about Squarespace. They empower individuals to create an online presence or even launch their passion project. So as of late, my passion project has been reworking vintage slips. So all thanks to Squarespace, I have my own professional website, twinl.com, where all of my vintage slips are available for purchase. And Squarespace made making my website super easy because they offer a ton of tools. So the first one that they offer is e-commerce templates. And essentially they just have a whole library of different website layouts to choose from. So so you just choose what best reflects your branding and then you get to customize the color, the text. The second tool they offer is inventory management. So on Squarespace, you're able to sell physical, digital items, and even a service. So to keep track of all that inventory, they'll send you notifications anytime something is low in stock or completely out of stock. The third tool they offer is secure payments. So you're able to connect Stripe and PayPal so that way your customers can purchase items using either the credit card, Venmo, or PayPal. Last tool I wanna to touch up on is that they offer a built-in mobile website. So this just means that they offer a unique mobile experience with every design. So your website is gonna be shoppable on very 
various screen sizes like an iPad, a phone, and even a desktop. If you want to check out Squarespace, take advantage of their free trial at squarespace.com. But when you're ready to launch, visit squarespace.com slash Twinell to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using my code Twinell. But a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's get back to dyeing my hair. We have the bleach done. This one is still pretty damp, so it's a little dark, but it doesn't feel right. It feels kind of greasy and I don't remember it feeling like that last time I did my hair but we're gonna make a little garbage bag poncho because it is time to finally dye it and I don't think I have enough for a chunky highlight so that look might have to wait for another day so for now let's just focus on whatever is already blonde so I have three different dyes we have this manic Panic one. I don't even know what color this is. Vampire's Kiss. Or we have Sunset Orange or Poison. I kind of don't want orange, so I think it's between these two here. This one looks a little bit darker and more burgundy, where this one just seems like more of an eccentric red, so we're gonna go this route. go through three hours of bleaching just for it to look black again oh my goodness I hope once it washes out it's a lot more bold and bright because I was not expecting this Look at my poor countertop. I'm staining it. That's horrible. I've already tried Clorox wipes and nothing is budging. It's starting to look a little like a crime scene in here. Four and a half hours later and I'm finally done. I can't believe it took so long just to do three little strips of hair. But let's take everything out and see what it looks like. I'm probably going to have to go shower. But I do have just a little bit of bleach left so maybe we can have enough for like two stripes or maybe just my eyebrows i don't know ow 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 i've been winning like i found the perfect chico code social distance shoddy don't get close to people had a lot of problems but i couldn't keep them this is where we're at right now i love it i think it looks so good my hair's still pretty wet so it doesn't look the most normal and also I have heck of Vaseline on my forehead right now. But I think we're just gonna do it. I wanna do at least two strips here. Forget the like chunky highlights all over. I think we have enough bleach for maybe two more strips. Oh, so let's just do that real quick. Back down, but it's gonna take you a while. Back on the grind, don't shake my shine. You could do me wrong, I'm gonna be all right cause you, you could try to pull me you know what i have more than enough bleach so screw it we're just gonna do my eyebrows but i'm not gonna leave them blonde or orange just because i think it might look a little funky so i'm gonna dye them red i feel like that makes sense and it's something different you know nothing i've ever done before so we're just gonna clip those together and then carefully put this on my eyebrow make sure I don't get this in my god dang eyes okay so let's just carefully put this on make sure nothing falls onto my eyes maybe I should do this with my eye closed okay go let it go switch it up switch it up take it slow take it slow bring it back bring it back let them know let's take all of this bleach off already I am so tired of being stuck in the bathroom oh my goodness Oh my goodness, it literally looks like I shaved off my freaking eyebrows. But I feel like it was kind of hard to get my entire eyebrow saturated in bleach. So we have a little bit of salt and pepper going on. But they're going to be red anyway. So I feel like the black hairs will easily blend in. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my god, wait, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. It makes my eyes look so tiny. The fact that I've gotten this far with my hair is pretty fulfilling, but I feel like it's a curse at the same time because I'm so cheap. I don't want to like drop mad money just to get my hair done professionally. And then secondly is like, I just have to prove to myself that I can get it done. I see the yellow coming in already, so I think we're just gonna pull these out and wash them because I'm so over just waiting. It looks pretty dark and spotted, but at this point, there's not much else I can do because I'm all out of bleach. So let me just rinse this real quick. Let's see how this one turned out. Oh, should I just pull it out? No, I'll do it properly just because I'm so scared that it's gonna break my hair. Yeah, see, this one's still pretty dark too. Like you can see a ton of black in there. Nice, I like it. It is super orange though. Okay, cool, cool. Let's do this one. Oh my gosh, y'all. This makes me feel so cool. Maybe a little too cool for me. I feel like I'm such a square. I'm not mad about it. That's still really cute. Okay, let's put some dye in here and then we're finally done. All right, y'all, the dye is in. I'm gonna go wash my hands and then let this sit for about 30, 45 minutes. Then I'm gonna get all prettied up and I'll show you the final look. All right, y'all, so here is the final look. I know that it's so different from what we initially started with, and I'm not gonna lie, but it's been four days since I dyed my hair, so I've already gone out in public, and I do get a lot of compliments on the color and that I look super cool and that I'm like this overall vibe, but I don't feel pretty and I don't feel very feminine. So I do feel like this look is gonna be very short lived. And I feel like where I went wrong was I cut the first layer so damn short. And also I'm not sure how I feel about the eyebrows. Maybe the red wasn't the right way to go just because I feel my eyes, my eyebrow and my forehead become like one single area so there's no distinction so i feel like i need darker eyebrows because i don't know how to do eyeshadow so i want it to be very clear that my eyes are here my eyebrows are there and that's my forehead so yesterday i did buy some black box dye and i think i might just dye them back but i think i'm gonna keep the red brows for at least a week and see if they grow on me on a positive note i feel like my photos come out so awesome and also I think I could easily become a hat person now just because it looks super cool. I feel like when I had my long black hair, it was kind of hard to pull off hats just because I don't feel like it really meshed well together. So expect me in a whole bunch of different hats now. But if you are on the fence when it comes to cutting your hair or dyeing it, I would say just do it. Hair grows back and when you really think about it, it's just hair, it's not that serious. I got freaking tattoos, so if you wanna see my reel, it's up on Instagram and TikTok. So in the next few videos, expect this really crazy look, but let me know all your honest thoughts, good or bad, down below in the description. Not the alarm, about to go off right now. Okay, y'all, as always, I post videos at least once a week. I'll see y'all in the next one, bye!